Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details, and today is a special day because we are finally stocking the aquarium, which I'm incredibly excited about. I've had the aquarium set up for the best part of 12 weeks, and I think it is about time to purchase the inhabitants. After 8 weeks of having the tank set up, which if you watched the first aquarium video then you should know about a few problems that I guess I caused to the tank. While those minor hurdles at the early days did set me back in terms of getting the new fish as I thought it best to get the aquarium sorted and settled first. Eight weeks later, I visited Ripple's Waterlife in Litchfield, and to my surprise, they had two Phantom Blue Plecos in stock, and they both looked adorable. At £80 each, I had to buy them. They were taken home, and thanks to Joey from the King of DIY YouTube channel, I acclimated the fish to get them used to their new environment temperature and water conditions. They were left to float in the tank for 30 minutes whilst I performed a last minute water change before emptying the pet store bags of water and getting the plecos into the net. Hopefully this will be the only time that I'll need to net the plecos as it must be quite a stressful time for the fish. I did it as delicately as possible but considering the body shape of a pleco they often get their little fibres hooked into the net. A little persuasion from myself and I managed to unhook the little bastard and set him free. The second pleco, which I'll let you know the name shortly, was a little limp when I first put him into the tank. Not sure what was going on, but I tried wriggling the net around to wake him up, but chances are is that he was protecting himself from a predator by spanning out his fins. He did wake up in the end and found a nice place to settle in the tank whilst he regained his composure. Both plecos remained in the same location until I turned the lights out that evening, but by the morning, they had both found areas to hide as plecos like to hide. Four weeks after purchasing the two plecos, it was back to the same fish store after lots and lots of research to buy the next group of fish. The two plecos were doing a great job of establishing the aquarium and creating those beneficial bacteria. I've been so busy with work over the previous four weeks, I just hadn't found the chance to get over to the fish store any sooner. Ripple's Waterlife, based in Litchfield, were incredibly helpful with educating me about some of the fish that I was interested in, and they helped me make the right decision on what species to buy. More so, they had a lovely selection of tropicals to choose from. My journey with the fish tank so far deserves a video all of its own, as I've left quite a funny side of the story out, simply so we can just concentrate on getting the fish and putting them in the tank. So the chances are I will make a video called The Story About The Fish Tank because it should be entertaining to watch and to listen to. Anyway, after visiting at least 10 fish stores in the central UK and lots of online research later, I ended up going with 5 electric blue acaras. The other contender species, because it is going to be a one species tank, or more like a two species tank with the plecos, were Malawai cichlids which I kept for 7 years a few years back, although I simply changed my mind because I wanted something different this time, convict cichlids but they are far too aggressive, green terrors but I don't like the colour green, they just have a tinge of blue to them, and then it was the electric blue acaras which ticked every box. They are a friendly species and curious by nature, which makes them enjoyable to watch and they also breed easily, whilst not eating their own spawn. They do say that if you can make a revenue from a hobby or a passion, and the fish keeping has certainly become a bit of a hobby and a passion as of late, then there is nothing better than combining the two. Who knows, maybe in a year's time, there will be a JP Details Electric Blue Acara Superstore. In all fairness and jokes aside, if you can turn a profit from something that you are passionate about and perhaps even something that isn't going to take up a massive amount of time, then it would be a win-win situation. I haven't purchased these fish on the fact that they breed easily, but I have always wanted fish to breed whilst I've had them, so I wouldn't complain if they did. Blue Acaras were acclimated to the tank before being put into the net whilst emptying the fish store's water down the drain. 
a much easier process in comparison to the plecos and the transfer from bag to net to tank went nice and smoothly. All five blue Akaras immediately group together in one of the rocks before venturing out to explore. I do find these animals interesting to watch and the curiosity of the Akaras is rather entertaining. If you sit in front of the tank and look inside, they will slowly come to the front of the tank one by one to check you out. Move your head around and bob it towards them, they will retreat, then come back out, retreat again and then come back out. It sure is an easy way to kill five minutes. If you haven't noticed, the theme of the tank is natural plants and natural decor, which has changed a bit since the first upload. I'm not sure what's going on with the Anubius plant I think on the left, but it doesn't look as if it is doing very well. If you have any suggestions, then please let me know in the comment section below. The blue Akaras will develop their colours as they get older, with the right diet and water conditions, so at the moment, with them being juveniles, they're not yet up to their utmost beautiful appearance. If I could get inside the tank and swim with them, then I would. I've tried feeding the plecos by hand, but I've been instructed by my local pet store to marinate some prawns in garlic sauce, which with a bit of patience, should tempt the plecos enough to eat out of my hand. I imagine I'll be making a few more videos on the tank as time goes by, because being honest, it is a nice change from the same old car cleaning content. On day two, after purchasing the Akaras, one of them found a way around the back of the 3D background and I found it easier to scoop him up by hand. I've already poked one of the plecos and chased the other one around the tank with a ball of bloodworms, so we are definitely starting to build a fish keeper's bond. Whether it's a good bond or not, I do not know, but I'm enjoying the fish and looking forward to watching them grow. I appreciate that this is a completely different type of content in comparison to what I usually upload, but considering that this is a new hobby of mine, I'm hoping that some of you guys are going to enjoy watching. As always, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for plenty more content, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.